Federico and Basili get us started. Lee Cassell, Ramey Steins, A.J. Desai on the whistle, and we go from Blacksburg. Elliott, Cummings, Burton, Henson, and Federico, and there is Greg Elliott to push Pitt in front. If you're going to run him off the line, he's certainly capable of getting inside the defense. Elliott averaging 11 a game. Here is Mutz and a dunk. And that's that's going to be an interesting matchup. Munson and Hinson. Cummings on Padula all the way to the rim, Dan, to put Pitt back in front. Wes, they got off to a little bit of a slow start, but they have really come on. Couture. Henson driving much to the basket. All the way to the baseline, got trapped. Here's Elliott with six to shoot. Another two-pointer cleanly through for Detroit. Nelly Cummings, or Greg, pardon, Greg Elliott, as Cummings handles the offense for Pitt. Cummings, a spot up on Basili is good. Explosive is Lynn Kidd. Now Mutz a three. Front rim miss. Cummings turns and tries to put Pitt in transition. Federico, the layup. Backing out Padula, now Kidd turns against Henson. In traffic, wraparound pass, and Mutz a tough shot. Bounce pass, knocked away, intended for Cummings. The pit turnover to Padula. All the way down, the layup rolls in. First points for Sean Padula. Couture is one of the better defenders in this conference. Yep. Whipped inside, Poteet. He'll turn with a right hand and score. Basili back on the floor to spell. And here's a three. Oh, my. Boy, Basili has been red hot, 20-plus in his last three and five of the last seven for Mike Young. Here's Padula. Oh, oh. standing in the tee with Sean Padula. And Basili in on part of the party, and then Sean Padula standing in the tee. Back for Jamarius Burton. Hard dribbles against Basili into traffic. Burton trying to find a wall and scoops it around and in. Sent him in. He had finished his water while he's walking to the scorer's table. Here is Burton guarding Mutz now. Backing down. Mutz the reverse and scores. Boy, Sabandi was alone down in the corner, but I don't think they saw him. Burton a step back. Got it. <laughs> Trailing is Henson in a deep three. Blake Henson on the board. That's his first basket. Well, this is a great mismatch inside. Mutz working on Cummings. Out of a double team, Basili alone. And that's why you can't double team. Ten to shoot for Cummings and Pitt. Trailing again by seven. La Federico the catch. Straight up and lays it in. Six minutes to go first half. Here's Mutz inside, squeezing around and scoring. In the first ten games... He has really improved, and that has helped the Panthers. Basili a trigger on another one. Two of them belong to the right state transfer, Basili. Lead back to 10, and Federico sets down the dunk. And that's really the first time we've seen a lack of ball pressure handling that screen. Collins, back door, Basili the layup. Here's Burton, trying to square up on Mutz. Drives him in the lane and scores. Cummings on the inbounds. Here's Burton, a little pull up on the baseline. That's his game. Nine for Jamarius Burton. Good positioning by Poteet West to just get a hand up. Here's Padula, all the way to the basket. Back for Poteet in the dunk. Don't forget Steve Hale. He was from Jinx. He played at North Carolina in the late 80s, right? Yeah, but he didn't average 15 points as That's, a sophomore. That is true. Here's Padula. Five to shoot. Kick out Basili. Yeah! And the Panthers standing around a little bit, Wes, and that's what good defense does to a team that emphasizes ball movement and player movement. Federico and one. Poteet against Diaz Graham. Now Couture firing away and hitting. To put the ball on the deck. Henson had the three spin out. Diaz Graham the rebound. Elliott tries to answer and does. 
Pittsburgh trailing 11, or nine rather. Here's Diaz Graham to catch and score. Going to the timeout a moment ago. Here's Elliott against Collins. Nice pass, Diaz Graham catching layup. Collins, here's Couture for three. Cummings, hard drive to the basket. Oh, skip for an open Henson. Couldn't knock it down. Burton recovers and scores. 11 for Jamarius Burton. Bazzilli spinning. Oh, what a tough shot. 10-point lead for the Hokies. Padula all the way for the scoop. Here's Cummings. Skips to Jorge for three. Good. I think the next three or four minutes are going to be critical for Pitt. Here's Burton trying to take Collins inside. Strong move and a hoop. 34 fouls have been called in the ballgame, Dan. And 17 some, in each half. And some key guys are on the bench. Here's Poteet. They list Diaz Graham at 205 pounds, and I think that's optimistic. There goes G uh, Jorge, rather, and a pass to brother Guillermo for the basket. The Panthers really haven't been able to chip much further away than nine. Nope. Here's Elliott working on Camden all the way to the basket. And the left-hand layup for Greg Elliott. One in the first half, two in the second half. Five is their season low. Hanging two by Collins, rolls in. And ironically, broke John Crotty's record with old 22 in the building. Basile at three. And the Hokies have really limited their three-point opportunities. Sure tonight. have. Terrific defensive effort, Virginia Tech. Here's Cummings. Bounce pass Federico through traffic. Little floater, too strong, and Sabandi the rebound. Ten-point lead. Nike around Couture and the layup good. Mutz calling for it against Burton. Burton is a strong guy, but I think Mutz has the advantage here. Padula, three. Oh. The lead is 11. Burton against Mutz all the way through and scores. 15 for Jamarius Burton. They really have category. had some struggles. for You know, Virginia Tech, they've played very well defensively tonight, but if they're going to beat people, Wes, they have to put the ball in the basket, and they have done it at a great rate tonight. That particular aspect of their game, it makes it really hard for Pitt to produce enough points to win a game. Burton tried to get Mutz in the air. Ten to shoot, Sabandi high off the window and in. Just four now for Nike Sabandi. And Melijal Poteet has come in. So here is Sabandi and Pitt down nine and Nike on the drive to make it a seven-point game. Couture shot fake. No foul on Elliott, and here's Poteet easily laying it home. Poteet looking at Basile, and now here's Couture. Hunter, a step back. That's a two, and it's good. And the Hokies are going to go to 16-11 and 6-10 and and in the ACC. Pitt will fall 19-8, and 12-4, and four, and they go from first to third in the standings with the loss here this afternoon. Terrific performance by Mike Youngster.